I'm at AW Engineering down in London. You'll see behind us here, they're running star sliding head lathes. But what we're going to be discussing in this video is actually this product supplied by Hydrophy, which is a rotor rack. Now, this has been a necessity for this company here, and uh, Mark's going to explain why. Mark, this is obviously integrated to your SR38 machine. Yeah. Why did you invest in the rotor rack, and what does it do? Uh, so the rotor rack basically moves the parts away from each other. It just continuously rotates and just separates the parts so that you don't get any contact between components. We got it in purely for that reason. We've got a high value part on the machine that we're running lights out 24 seven. And if you take a high value part and then drop it into a bin on top of each other, um, stainless although tough the machine, soft the damage. So we were getting chips and, and, and scratches on, on component and at that point, their scrap. Because in, inside the machine, obviously the star is built and designed in order to handle and not damage components. Yeah. But once it comes off of the outfeed conveyor, that's your responsibility, isn't it, in a sense? And, yeah. And that's when it could, co it could be costly to you. So without this, you weren't able to run over a weekend like you are now. Yeah, that's right. The, the rotor act, basically, we can get the easy 24, 48 hours worth of components on, on there. Um, and it will run through and then when the batch is finished and stopped. So it basically just collates all the parts together in a nice gentle way, slows down the motion and means that we, don't get, we get a zero damage rate on the part. And what's the communication between the machine and the rotor rack? Do they, do they, do they communicate or does it? In, in actual fact, one of the advantages of the, of the rotor rack is it's a completely autonomous system. So you basically just program it with a cycle time and how far around you want it to move and then it will do that every, every interval that you program so you can adjust how far you want it to move and it also means I can actually pick it up if it's not running this job and move it onto any of the one, other machines in my shop. And where's it programmed through the unit on the rotor rack or through the machine? They're uh, two no, just independent. through the unit on the rotor rack so it's completely autonomous to the machine. Wow, big saving for you. I can imagine seeing these at some point maybe on your other machines then. I think you might well do, yeah.